Oh God, poop transplants are a thing, you guys. They are like legitimately a thing. Anthony here, let's get real. Medical science is icky. It is just the nature of things. One of the ickiest procedures I've heard of is fecal bacteriotherapy. It's a poop transplant and scientists are making a lot of advances in poop transplant technology. See, a lot of gastrointestinal disorders like irritable bowel syndrome or ulcerative colitis are bacterial. And the idea is that putting the fecal bacteria of a healthy person into somebody with a disorder will cause the healthy bacteria to overtake the unhealthy stuff. It's called bacterial interference, and it's used in some other procedures as well. Now luckily, while gross, fecal microbiota transplantation is not something you have to do back and forth forever. It's done by transplanting a small amount at a time through an enema or a colonoscopy. It's super gross, but it's also super effective, with some sources reporting a 90% success rate. But as wonderful as they sound, poop transplants aren't all sunshine and rainbows, my friends, no. There is a risk that the donor might transmit some other kind of infection. And just like any other transplant, there's also a chance that the procedure won't take at all. Probably the biggest weak point of FMT is also the grossest. The donation sample has to be fresh. So, did science create a safer, less nasty alternative to the poop transplant? Sort of. In a roundabout way, they have created synthetic poop which they call repopulate, because when you're a poop scientist, your sense of humor is probably the only thing that gets you through the day. Repopulate is mixed with purified intestinal bacterial cultures, and it eliminates those dangers of getting a foreign virus or an infection from a transplant. It also means it can be whipped up in a lab whenever it's needed, and it doesn't have to be fresh. Now, the super poop is still in testing stages, so let's not all rush out at once to try it. I nearly made a contain yourself joke there. But if repopulate continues to get positive results, it'll join synthetic blood and synthetic hormones in regular medical use. Get it? Regular? You know what, let's just stop right there. Okay, I'll be back later today with details on a much more sterile transplant we might be seeing in the future. So subscribe and I'll see you then.